So when I think of typical precision medicine, um, you know, I think many of us think about um, genomic precision medicine. Um, and so when, when we say that, looking at genomic markers, specifically biomarkers that we can then target to improve outcomes um, with therapies with patients and decrease side effects um, and add tools to the armamentarium for these patients. Um, this is a little bit challenging in prostate cancer specifically for a couple of reasons. Um, namely, prostate cancer, as you get more and more advanced disease and progress from hormone sensitive disease to hormone resistant disease, um, you get more uh, genomic instability, you get more heterogeneity between patients, and not only between patients, but within the same patient heterogeneity within the same tumor and heterogeneity between tumors in the same patient. And so that makes uh, genotypic precision medicine very, very difficult in some of our patients. Um, and then the other thing is that as we're treating our patients, we our treatments themselves, be it you know um, androgen deprivation therapy, novel, novel hormonal agents, these treatments induce selective pressure that then select for and create an even more heterogeneous population. Um, so I think those are a few of the issues specifically in prostate cancer, and that's why phenotypic precision medicine is an attractive um, avenue that a lot of research is going into to look at. And so when I say phenotypic precision medicine, what I'm talking about is <clears throat> tools that facilitate clinical decision making based on observable um, characteristics of that tumor and within that patient. And when I say observable, I mean either at a histologic level, looking at the cells themselves, or at a macro level. So whether it's an imaging test that can tell us something about the patient or distribution of the disease within that same patient. So um, that's a bit different than genotypic precision medicine. Um, so. That's, those are some of the challenges. I think another challenge, particularly in prostate cancer, is the distribution of metastatic disease in the typical patient with metastatic prostate cancer. They will often have small to maybe not small pelvic nodes, but 80% of patients with metastatic prostate cancer have bone metastases. And we know that bone metastases can be challenging to run genomic testing on. Um, they tend to not be the highest yield for that type of testing. And so that can also make it very difficult um, to obtain those samples. So again, another reason to look for new avenues of um, phenotypic precision medicine in our patients. So I think those are some of the challenges and why, why we're attracted to the idea of phenotypic precision medicine and why we should all have it on our radar.